Hey there, Tony Thorson coming at you from devmashup.com. Today I am hanging out in my garage because I want to show you a project that I just recently wrapped up and it is my garage door opener project. If you've been to my website, you've seen it before. Uh, I actually started this project back in 2015 and no, it has not taken me three years to actually do it. I've just done several revisions over the years. So this year, what I did, well, I, I moved earlier in the year and I thought it'd be a great chance to redo the project because my last version was just very DIY looking, not very aesthetically pleasing, we should say. Uh, so what I did was I picked up a 3D printer this year and created a custom enclosure for it, um, bought some perma proto boards to be able to solder components directly onto that uh, with all the hookup wires and stuff. So that way it looks a lot less DIY, but still kind of DIY. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna show you today is my new uh, garage door opener project. Now to be able to determine whether or not the door is open, I used a magnetic switch, so the magnet, Kind of hard to see back here in the shadows, but the magnet is mounted over here to the side of the door, uh, and then this component uh, over here stays mounted, uh, and that's uh, it actually has the switching mechanism in it. So you can see a couple wires coming off of that, and I'll show you. It just kind of goes along the angle iron there, and yes, that is duct tape uh, because I had no other way to mount that to the side of the the railing here. So that goes up there. And then kind of across the ceiling, like I said, still looks a little DIY-ish. And then it all feeds into this box up here. And this is my new enclosure that I 3D printed. Uh, and then over here on the uh, left-hand side, you can see where it comes in. The uh, sensor comes down here uh, at the bottom. The, it hooks into those bottom two terminals. And then the other four terminals are used for controlling the door itself, uh, or the opener itself, which is right here below it, as well as the, uh, the light that sits inside here, and then there's one on the other side as well. So I have uh, inside here, let me slide this open, uh, there's that perma proto board I was talking about, has the terminal blocks on it, uh, the bottom circuit is for the sensor, and then the top two circuits are for the door and the light. Uh, you can see a capacitor that is in there. Uh, that's used to be able to properly control the light. That one took a little bit to figure out, but uh, uh, then those feed into the two channel relay module that I have up here. And then down here is a Maker Focus D1 Mini. Uh, it's like a clone of the Wemos, Wemos, however you pronounce that brand. Uh, it's basically just a clone of that uh, D1 Mini. And so what I did was uh, just coded this up in the Arduino IDE, uploaded some code on there, and then um, mounted that sucker inside there. And you can see over here the power cord that goes in the right-hand side. So what this does is this unit has a Wi-Fi chip in it, the ESP8266, I believe, or a, uh, a variation of it but uh, it connects to the cloud essentially. I have a RabbitMQ message broker running in the cloud and so this has an MQTT library that it uses to be able to just pull for messages so I can write any client that I want. I actually have my Amazon Echo uh, set up to be able to send messages to this and I could, I mean, I could write a mobile app, a, a, a smartwatch app, just a regular desktop app. It doesn't matter. Any sort of client that can put a message on a message queue can control this unit. So I left all of the existing switches in place. So over there, if you can see, I have my uh, wall switches by the door. So those still work. My remotes and my vehicles still work. And so all, all this really does is just give me another way to control the door programmatically, essentially, uh, and to alert me when the door is open or closed. So that magnetic switch that I showed you whenever that opens, it sends a signal here and then uses Twilio to send me a text message to let me know that the door is open and same thing whenever it's closed. I did recently do a project with Amazon Polly, so now I have a Raspberry Pi inside that listens for those messages as well and then uses the Amazon Polly service to basically do text-to-speech and so I have a little voice. It's kind of creepy, kind of scares you at times if you're not ready for it, but uh, that will let me know when the door is open and closed as well. Anyway, that's the uh, project that I just wrapped up. Much, much cleaner than the previous version, and I hope you enjoy it. Alexa, ask Titus to open the small garage door. Mm. 
Alexa, ask Titus to close the small garage door. 